Airdrie Stud is looking forward to the upcoming Keeneland September sale, where they will be represented by two first crop yearling sires in Preservationist and Divisa Darrow. We sat down with the farm's director of sales, Jocelyn Brooks, and talked about the pair of stallions and the trends she sees in their yearlings. A lot of people are interested in preservationists. They obviously know he's a son of Arch. They know he was a very expensive yearling, um, that he's a big, beautiful horse. Um, but they also, I think, and we, before he came to stud, there's a misconception, was he not, was he a later maturing horse? Was he not um, an early horse? So our big conversation that we've had with breeders has been that he was very precocious and he was, as a two-year-old, the best training horse in the, in the barn, as they said. Um, and so when he broke his maiden going six furlongs and 109 and one and ran a three rag, you say, oh gosh, I'm thinking of the horse that, that won the Woodward, that won the Suburban. I didn't realize that he had this speed. Um, so it's a fun conversation to have when they love his family, they love you know his pedigree and his physical, but they also now know that not only was he a, a grade one winner going long, but that he also had that, that speed that everyone's after. We've been really excited about preservationist foals. We actually uh, sold a handful at November last year and we were very pleased. They all were nice physicals. They sold very well and they sold you know to the right buyers. They were big, strong horses, even as weanlings. And I think you'll see a bunch of them back this September. When you see the, the individual physicals and this pedigree on top of everything, um, we just think that he's gonna have a really strong sale. Well, our book one preservationist is Out of Church by the Sea. And Church by the Sea is a family that everyone well knows. Um, not only has she produced uh, multiple graded stakes winners herself, but that family goes to Cairo Memories and to Zandon. And on top of that, he is what you want to see in, in a book one horse. He's, he's very big and strong. He's beautiful. He's athletic. Um, he's got a really nice way of going. And, and he just, he's been so good through this whole prep. So our preservationist cult out of lifetime memory comes from another uh, favorite family on the farm here, uh, Lifetime Memories out of Silver Reunion. And um, he's a stunning physical, powerful looking, um, but still very fluid moving. And um, we think he'll be very popular with his physical, plus that, that really nice family that we've had for all those years. Prez's pedigree top and bottom are two of the best pedigrees. Uh, you'll really find those, those Middlebrook and King Ranch families that go back for, for generations of just top quality horses. So. We've bred quite a few mares to him ourselves, so we'll have, we'll have a lot of them in the sale, starting right in book one. Davisa Darrow um, has been a really fun horse to have uh, on the farm here, being by probably one of the best, if not the best international turf sire there is in Kitten's Joy. And then um, he is just from a female family that you don't really get to get to a chance to breed into very often. He won back-to-back -back grade ones at Churchill Downs, and. Actually, his first race at Churchill Downs, only his third race, was one of his most impressive. Um, his first stakes win, just a beautiful horse. He's very well put together. Uh, he's correct. Um, and he definitely looks like a horse that would be, you know, a, a very fast turf horse. And his foals have followed in his footsteps in that they're very similar to him. The Devisadero out of Keep Crossing, who is a stakes winner herself, is, is a good example of a Devisadero because they really do favor him. Um, he looks like a Devisadero 2.0. A lot of them really do look like this. They definitely have his balance, um, his build, his fluid movement, and hopefully they have his speed. We ourselves have bred 15 to 20 mares to Devisadero every year that he's been here. Um, we really believe in the horse. Um, you know, with the loss of Kitten's Joy, who will never be replaced, but it's nice to have such a well-bred son of his that was so accomplished on the track, standing here at Airdrie. Um, so people are excited by, you know, his speed, um, for sure. And of course, his pedigree has drawn up quite a few people into him. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.